Hi everyone and hello to all the Shining Stars out there. Welcome to our Shining Stars program, hosted by... Kids, Kids. Hi everyone, I'm Avery. Hi everyone, I'm Landon. Hi everyone, I'm Willa from California. Hi everyone, I'm Paxton, also from California. Hi everyone, I'm Isis, I'm also from California. And hi everyone, I'm Max, I'm also from California. We would like to welcome one and all to the Shining Stars program on Facebook and YouTube of Kids Love Peace 20. Happy Chinese New, to, New Year to you all. How are you doing, my friends? Can't believe it's a month since the new year started. How are you all feeling in February? I'm feeling so happy because for New Year's, we got to go to a restaurant and we got to celebrate um, the Chinese New Year and um, my grandpa's birthday. We got to go to the Volcano Buffet and Korean Barbecue. I feel good. I, I'm very happy that I got my envelope. Red envelope. I'm happy about Chinese New Year, and I'm also really excited for Valentine's Day so we can share our kindness and love. I'm really excited for Valentine's Day, too. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about uh, February right now because uh, it's the Super Bowl and also um, Chinese New Year. Thank you for sharing your feelings. February is the month of love and kindness. Do you think any small acts of kindness on individuals or communities can impact a community or the world? How do you believe love and kindness can create a positive domino effect? I think if everybody works together and spreads love and kindness, I think the people will be able to see that if you work together and help and spread kindness, that it will make the community a better place. Yes, I believe it can. Every small act of kindness counts. I agree. I think we can help the community if we like work together and show our kindness and love. I think we can help the community if we show our love to the community and help clean up trash so it's not all dirty. I think if uh, many people do all uh, each do a small a small act of kindness, then I feel like it can grow very large and it can help the world. Could you share your own act of kindness? How do you think your act of kindness has affected others? A couple of days ago, I went to the community garden. I helped prepare the soil and remove. <laughs> Um, the plants that are dead. When the plants are grown, we can take them to the farmer's market and sell it, which will help the community. What about you, Landon? I, I, uh, for the first time, I joined the virtual world and and I so I asked someone to help me, and they guide, and they're kind enough to guide me. And and after they guide me, I played again, and and then I helped someone else, and then I saw them help someone else. Not too long ago, I went to the temple, and we helped clean it up to show our kindness. And also yesterday, we um, planted some plants. Um, I also went to the temple, and I would help clean the temple by um, help clean the leaves from the parking lot and um, help with the dishes. For me, it's when I, like, uh, massage my dad. Uh... And then it can help him, like, release his soreness, and then it can also help him feel better. Uh, thank you, everyone, for sharing. Uh, this evening, we invite Venerable Clint Quinacha Will to give us an advice on how small acts of kindness can help individuals and communities to become a better positive domino effect.
So, hello, Shining Stars. Oh, it's great to be back, see you all. And, yeah, well, I'm so glad to hear about all your acts of kindness because all those small acts of kindness, they really do make an effect. They start to help others. As It starts with a little thing. And have you guys heard of ripples? Yeah, ripples. Like if you're next to water and you just touch it a little bit, it goes up, zing, and it just starts to grow. These rings grow and grow. That's like the power of the goodness you're doing. It starts out very, very small, but it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And if the, like for example, if the lake is really, really big, you can make that water grow really, really big. So it's just like all of your little acts of kindness. When you do them, they're always very helpful, even if you don't think it is. And everyone has their own special way of how they do it. So... Uh, one example of how, how this can work is something like, have you guys heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? Okay. But have you heard the whole story? <laughs> so most people have heard, you know, the tortoise and the hare. Let's say it's a turtle and a hare. A turtle named Ted, a hare named Harry. So Harry is arrogant. He thinks he's the best. He can beat everyone. He's like, I can beat anyone in a race. So Ted goes, I can beat you in a race. He's a slow turtle. I can do it. And they're like, yeah, right. Well, they take the rest, the race, right? And then they go, one, two, three, go. So the hare, Harry's like, eh, I can take it easy. He takes a nap. And of course, what happens? The turtle, slow and steady, he wins the race, right? But because we know Harry is arrogant and he just lost a race, you think he's going to accept it? No way. He asked for a rematch. Hey, let's do it again. Let's race again. So they're okay. So Ted's like, Sure, any time, any place. So, uh, so they take the race again. This time, Harry has learned his lesson. So he runs the whole way. One, two, three, go. So he runs the whole way. He wins the race. So what does this teach you? If you can do it fast, better. <laughs> so now Ted's like, hey, let's do another rematch. And Harry's like, sure, any place, any time. It's like, okay, this time, let's run that way. Last time I went this way. Say, okay, fine, let's do it. So they go, ready? One, two, three, go. So Harry runs the whole way, runs and runs and runs. He sees the finish line, but there's a river in front of him. He can't swim. Little by little, Ted finally catches up. Hi, Harry. And then he goes into the water, swims across, and passes the finish line. So this, this part shows you, if you have a special skill, use it. Use it to your advantage the way to do what you can do. So now Ted and Harry are starting to become friends. They say, okay, let's race one more time. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Get set. Go. Harry picks up Ted, the turtle. It runs all the way to the river, puts Ted down, and then he cuts on Ted back. And then they swim across the river. They finish the race together. So in the end, the best thing is teamwork. When you can do the things that you do, everyone has their own special ability a special skill or a special way of doing something. When everyone helps in their way, it makes everything happen much easier and happier. So all your acts of kindness and because all you guys helping out in your own way is a way of helping make some difference for the world, starting to change and help more people. So I applaud you all and I hope you all keep this up. Thank you, Ben Wilkin, for giving us special advice on kindness. And think, and now to I got into meditation, Ben Wilkin leads us again this evening. All right, thank you. So now as we're about to meditate, remember meditation is just two simple steps, relaxation and awareness. So first, let's sit comfortably. Taking a deep breath, breathe in the cool, calm, relaxing air, and breathe out all your worry, regret, responsibility, just helping you feel nice and comfortable. Don't have to care about what's going on around you. Well, sometimes there's noise around you. Sometimes things going on. 
But right now, as we meditate, it's just time for us to relax our body, relax our mind. And it all starts with breathing in, breathing out. We breathe in the cool, calm, relaxing air. And we breathe out all the negativity, the things that are bothering you. As we practice, understand that we are practicing. You don't have to look perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Just taking this time for a mini vacation, an opportunity to relax your body and your mind. So allow yourself to be nice and comfortable. Adjust your body, adjust your mind. In fact, today, let's think of all those wonderful acts of kindness you guys have been doing. The goodness you are doing will become like a wonderful power to help your mind feel at ease, to feel joyous, to be happy and peaceful. Let the image of you doing your act of kindness be easy to see in your mind, being bright and clear. And as you see what you have done, helping you feel more at ease, more peaceful. So let your mind take a break. Relax your body, relax your mind. And if your mind becomes a monkey again, it's okay. You are normal. I recommend using our magic word, our mantra. Remember, you can repeat this mantra as many times as you'd like. The mantra is your special magic word to help you relax, calm your mind, and also bring goodness and keep you safe. So take your time. Relax your body, relax your mind as we practice for just a little while longer.
Now, let us begin spreading loving kindness. Spreading loving kindness. It's like sharing this peaceful energy to all beings. So let us imagine our object bright and beautiful. And the brightness within, and like this good energy within you. We let this light shine out, filling your body with this pure energy, this peaceful energy. And let that peaceful energy shine out, filling the room. Spread it out far and wide, filling the city, filling the state. Filling the country, filling the whole world, and filling the entire universe. As we send out this good energy, let us think of a wish for ourselves, for us to be happy, healthy, wealthy, successful to gain wisdom, attain enlightenment, for world peace. So let us take a moment to make your own good wishes. And now, let us take in a deep breath. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Take your time as we slowly come back. You can take in a few deep breaths. Do a little stretch if you like as we slowly come back. How's everyone feeling? I feel so refreshed and calm and like calmer than I did before. I feel happy too. I feel refreshed. I feel calm and I feel great. I feel like relaxed and calm and like happy and like, yeah, I have good meditation. I feel calm, happy, and relaxed. Uh, I feel distressed and better. I feel more focused now, and like I have homework to do, so I'm ready to do it. <laughs> very good, everyone. I'm very happy to know that you guys are feeling calm, feeling refreshed, even de-stressing, even if it's a little bit. It's a good thing, because... Yeah, when you guys are going through school, there's always so much we have to do. And as you're getting older, there's more and more. <laughs> so I'm very glad that you guys have this tool. And I hope you keep practicing it. You don't have to do it for a long time. A little bit a day goes a long way. But it really does help. And I can guarantee it because that's what I did. So keep it up and continue being the shining stars I know you all are. Thank you, Red World Clan, for leading the meditation this evening. Friends, don't forget to meditate as often as you can each week. Thank you for joining us this evening. Have a great week. Till next time. Bye. 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 Bye, friends. Love. Peace. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. There's a place on earth, a place of destiny, a place of happiness, a place of peacefulness. Don't have
have to go too far Cause it's right here where you are All you have to do Is close your eyes, you'll see Oh, it seems so strange But soon you're gonna see Many stars are bright And that's not even at night Anytime I close my eyes Shining stars come for me I wish you come and see These shining stars with me So close your eyes for a moment and stop what you're doing. Stop everything and don't even think. And put your mind at ease right in the center of, of your body. And that's it. It's so easy. First comes the light, then comes the star. That's super bright. It's the stars, brother stars, mother stars, father stars, and even nephew stars. They all come out for you to see. And that's the door to your destiny. There's a place on earth, a place of destiny, a place of happiness, a place of peacefulness. You don't have to go too far, cause it's right here where you are, all you have to do. Close your eyes, you'll 